everyone, it's Sue Ralph here with Birdcage Craft Studio. Welcome back to my crafting tip number 33 from me to you. Uh, today I thought we would carry on and do a little bit about glitter again and just normal single sided sellotape. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. This is a little Christmas card that I've made just to show you. And can you see how it all sparkles there in the middle? Okay, it's just slightly different. I don't know if the camera will pick it up very well but it's covered in glitter. So I'm going to show you how to make this, just the topper for it. And this is just another one that I did make. You could have it as a hanger that you can hang up in a bedroom just as a little gift for somebody. It's got a pillow on the bottom there. And as you can see, it's got the back side. You can see straight through. But with the card, okay, we're just making it so it sits on the front of the card. There's nothing inside. You can't see through it. All right, so what you need to do is you need to get a punch of your choice and I'm using the Stampin' Up! Ornaments Punch. Two pieces of card that fit, they're the perfect size for each other. Okay, so I'm gonna put the white down for a minute. I'm going to take my red and slip it all the way in to the red, uh, into the punch, like so. Make sure I line it up so it's sort of more or less in the middle and then punch down. Okay, and then we can keep the punch out for another project. And then you can see I've got my punched out shape. I'm just going to put the two pieces of card together and then with a pencil, making sure that they, the card lines up, I'm just going to draw a very faint outline of where the ornament shape is. Okay, so this is just gonna show me when I go to stamp the area to stamp on. Okay, so I've just drawn it drawn it very roughly just so it shows up a little and then I'm going to bring in my cherry cobbler red ink okay just make sure I stamp it up nicely and then I'm going to position the image where I want it inside my bauble so my head might just get in the way I don't know I'm gonna lean forward and see and then press down okay making sure that you get a nice image Okay, and you're not going to get all of it in there because obviously the bauble's not big enough. But then when you place your red card stuck over the top, that's what you're going to be seeing. Now for this uh, technique, you need to make sure that you use quite a, a deep coloured ink to show through because what we're going to do now is we're going to use our sellotape and glitter and then that's going to cover your image. So you need a nice strong colour to show through. Now I'm just going to get myself a piece of sellotape, just cut off enough to cover my punched out shape. And what you need to do is you need to be very careful that you don't stick, stick it down to the table. So if you've got um, a non-stick craft sheet or something, then obviously you can put it down, put your sellotape on but I've just managed to put the sellotape on the back and now the front is very sticky. So what I'm going to do, actually before I do this little bit, um, let me just bring in my other stamp. Sometimes if you stamp on anything that's uh, got a little bit of height to it, it doesn't go very well. So I'm just gonna pop some red holly berries just around the card, just to decorate it up slightly. It's just very, uh, just very, um, you know, just a few. You don't need too many. Okay, just show you there. Okay, as I said, I don't know if this picks it up very well. And then I'm going to bring in my glitter. Okay, and I'm going to shake it all on to that sellotape. Okay, and you will need to use either a finger just to press the glitter into the sellotape or you can go back to your topper that the sorry the punch type that you just had put it on top just really press down okay but i don't mind using my finger but i know some people aren't very keen on glitter and then just make sure you're working it all into that sellotape okay and then bang it off and then you have your glitter, it's all nice and shiny. So let me just move this out of the way. And then what you can do, now your ink should be dry, just take your rubber 
and just just get rid of those lines just in case they show through but I doubt that they will oh dear it looks like a it's not quite dry in that corner but that's not going to show and then what you want to do with your top piece you want to just have I've got a little bow so I'm just going to get a glue dot put a little glue on top of the ornament okay and then I'm just going to take a length of my baker's twine and just stick that on top of the glue dot and then my little bow just to cover that join like that and then I'm just going to take another little bit of sellotape just to stick that twine to the back of the card you don't need very much just just a, just enough to stick that twine down okay make sure it doesn't go any anywhere past your punched out area because you otherwise you'll get to see your sellotape you wouldn't want to do that we cut that bit off and then what you want to do now is you want to glue your picture into place okay and then you want to put some dimensionals on the back and then put it onto a piece of cardstock so that it's ready to make into a card and then also where we've done the berries but obviously if you decide that you don't want to do berries you can just um, highlight them with little rhinestones and you can do the method that we did the other day by colouring your rhinestones but that's a very quick and simple way to make a, a card which has a bit of extra sparkle. I hope you've enjoyed that technique and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.